Bella Vista Designs is Southern California's premier audio and visual company, specializing in decorative lighting, draping, and sound for your upcoming wedding or event. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Fun Sparkle Drama. I am your host, Nico Cervantes, and this is my co-host, Miss Nina La Fuente. Hello. It's kind of, it, this is our holiday episode, and uh, it's just family today, just you and I. Great. I know. Fun. We're going to be talking about gift giving <laughs> and the drama around gift giving, because it gives me anxiety. Yeah. You know? Well, not, not, it gives you anxiety. It doesn't give me anxiety. I know. I'm a terrible gift giver. You are. I why? <laughs> no, I'm, a, I'm such a bad gift giver. You give gifts, but you're a terrible gift giver. I do. I, you know what it is? I wait till the last minute because it stresses me out. Right. And then I have to get whatever's available. Right. So it's just, so we're going to be talking about gift giving and what are appropriate gifts and what are not appropriate gifts and what are funny gifts and what are not so funny gifts. And how so. to buy gifts for people, for those of us who have a hard time, those of you because I don't have a hard time. Yeah. Those of you <laughs> who have a hard time buying gifts to kind of like, I'll give some tips because that's kind of yeah. where I shine. That's how, that's how, that's why we're good friends. Like we kind of balance each other out. No, definitely. Yeah. And I hate what I, the, the thing I hate most about gift giving is the gift wrapping part about it too. Like it's not just yeah. the gift giving, it's then like the gift wrapping part. Yeah. And then you've got some like, and people, I'm in the event industry and I'm a designer. So people automatically assume that I'm going to give some beautifully wrapped gift. And I'm a terrible gift giver, and I'm a terrible gift wrapper. Right. Like, literally, I love, I am that person that likes to roll the gift up in the wrapping paper and then, like, cinch it on either side <laughs> with ribbon. <laughs> or and whatever. then put a big old piece of scotch tape on it. Right. Like, I'm so bad. So why don't you tell me, because you're a good gift giver, and you're very thoughtful, so I want to hear from your words what makes you a good gift giver. Okay. First and foremost, I, I, I love to give gifts anyway. Like, I'm a gifty person. I love presents. I love to give everybody I love presents, even when it's not Christmas. Yeah. Um, part of what I love about that is really thinking about who I'm going to give it to. What do they, what do they need? What do they like? You know, it, you really have to like step back and like spend some time thinking about the person that you're going to give the gift to. Because I feel like a lot of people give gifts that they think people should have. You know what I mean? I know yeah. someone in my life is famous for giving presents that they think would be good. So you need to sit back, think about like what the person could really use. What about that person? Like what kind of phase are they in their life? Like I'm really into yoga right now. So I'm really into yoga gifts. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> Some yoga pants. But that makes it a lot easier. Exactly. You know? But if you sit back and kind of think, okay, what are they into? So, and it doesn't just have to be a tangible thing either, but yeah. we'll get to that in a minute. So I start and think about who all do I want to get presents for this year? Obvious family. Yeah. Second obvious to me is like my son's teacher, um, someone that I deal with often, housekeeper, even that person at the bank that you see all the time. It's yeah. just kind of that time of you year buy, to you, just you show. You buy gifts for your banker? Well, no, I'm just saying for <laughs> example. I've really spent that now. <laughs> no, but you know, like my dentist's office, mm -hmm. you know, or people that are in service to me because I'm in service to a lot of people and I really appreciate it when my clients make an effort or gesture this time of year, no matter what. I mean, it, I'm just, I because I am in the service industry as well, yeah. it's just nice when somebody even, a bottle of wine, an extra $5, or just something to say, hey, I really appreciate you. So there's those kind of gifts that you can give to people that can be baked goods, you know, like having a baking party with your friends, or maybe you want to make... Um, body salt scrub you know like we, we did that one year we got the um the mason jars and we got like coconut oil and sugar and coffee and we just put some what was that um brown string that you had me get raffia i don't know he knows all the names yeah. of all like, what things. Is this? and then we gave it so it was a cool homemade gift that people would use you know okay what I mean? well what if you're a person that's really busy like me no mm -hmm. offense but i'm a really busy person you know you I, i'm i'm self-employed and um and I don't have the time to bake, and I'm a terrible baker, and I don't have time to be making salts and crushing okay. up coffee grinds. So what is what do you think is a good gift for me to give people like service people, you know, like my hairstylist and things like that? You know, if you see them, I think right before Christmas, give them extra money. 
Yeah. You know, make that $20 tip a $50 tip. Yeah. You know, and so, I have no problem doing that. Exactly. So that's a really nice, like, easy way that mm -hmm. you can show that you're thoughtful. Um, or even like a gift card. Just some, it's just more like a gesture to those more peripheral people in your life. Yeah. And then, um, and those are easy to get. You can get gift cards anywhere now. You can get them at, um, oh my God, at uh, Ralph's. They have like that big, huge I know. like you wall. Know. There's like half the places on there I don't even think we have in Santa Barbara. I know, but that's my saving grace sometimes, I have yeah. to tell you. You know, because yeah. Ralph's is all up until midnight. So. <laughs> oh, you! I've gotten a few gift cards from totally. you. you know, me and my children have received gift cards. Right? No, totally. <laughs> And they're great. So what is the best gift that you've gotten from a client? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I had this client whom I, who doesn't come to me anymore. I believe she moved and she really wasn't coming to me for that long. And I don't so we can see talk her. about her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she was really nice. And I was, I would just do her eyebrows every few months and it was right around the holidays. And, um, she comes, she hands me this card after um, she left, and it was a Christmas card, I said, oh, thank you so much. I opened it. It was $500. Don't you remember that? Oh, I do. Or it was like four or $500 in cash. And I yeah. was like, huh. And so that was, it was kind yeah. of weird, but cool. And, you know, I think she just really, you know, I'm a single mom. And I think at yeah. that point, she really just kind of wanted to be like, yeah, I can give this to her. It was amazing. It Definitely. was That was amazing. It was a little overly generous but i wasn't complaining and i when i called to thank her and what i did with that money was i made sure i spent it on myself yeah and i think i got some clothes or i got my hair done or something because i'm it, that would be something i would like pay some bill or get something for my kids or something so i really use that money for myself so that would probably be like the best well what do you think too like on that same aspect of like you know, because as friends, we don't really know what to give each other because when you reach a certain age, right. you end up buying something when you want it. Right. But what about, what do you think about giving something, you know, like your yoga studio? Like if I would to pay for a month of yoga or, you know, pay for, go to the massage place that you attend and give something right. out of like your life. What do you think? Is that weird or? No. Well, that, I mean, it depends. It, it like for us. Does it take the out of it? Yeah. I mean, you know, there's, I think there's kind of like a fine line between surprising someone and being like, look, I really spent some time and got, you know, investigated this present for you or, you know, this I want, or we have a discussion about what you think we should get each other. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's one of those things where I think it's nice to have a conversation about presents, but then also have a little bit of mystery to it. So yeah. there is an element of surprise. Like you open a present, so you're surprised. It's not all, oh my God, I knew you were getting me this. Like that's yeah. so fun, No, right? definitely. And I think that's part of it, you know, and right. like something creative. Right. Um, so <laughs> what do you think? I was laughing because I was thinking, you know, I've never been a person that's been rich. You know, I uh, grew up, you know, with a very humble, you know, family, just like you. Yeah. Humble upbringing family. Um, and I've never been a person that's rich, but I was lying in bed thinking like, God, what do the rich give the rich? So if you were super rich and I was super yeah. rich, what would we get each other? Well, we would get each other like a vacation together. Totally. <laughs> that yeah. would be something we would do. But I think... Um, Go to Mexico and get chubby I know, treats. I know, totally. I think it depends on like the dynamic between the friends once mm -hmm. again. Like, so if you were a bajillionaire, I was a bajillionaire, we'd go on some fat, fat ass trip. You know, mm -hmm. we'd go to like some spa for four days or something we would do something that we would love and that would yeah. be a cool present um i think um it's nice to make a donation in people's names yeah you know, i love to, that idea yeah i like that too because there's so many um wonderful nonprofits and organizations that really need the support and depending on how much i mean anything helps and this is always the time of year that people i think really think about that so definitely um, and we actually have a list of oh right nonprofits yes. that we're gonna screen shot or I don't know they're gonna pan across the screen and we're gonna talk about um, these are the nonprofits that we love that we think would be great to give if you don't know if you maybe you just moved to Santa Barbara or you're in the area um, these are a list of great things yeah. from animal resources to rape crisis counseling right and girls Inc. girls Inc. boys and, and girls club definitely yeah. the I mean, there's Foundation. so many yeah there's so many Santa Barbara has how many nonprofits like a lot over three 3,000 or something? Yeah, I, I, I can believe that. Definitely. So, and there's some amazing ones. Yeah, for sure. Well, they're all amazing in their own right. So. What is the worst gift that you've gotten? Oh, my God. Like. <laughs> okay. 
Was the it for worst? me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I, you, got, you got me something that was not good. No, once. I gave you a bar of soap last year with the price tag on oh it Oh, my God, from Ross. That's, That's right. Okay. But it was with that something else. Horrible. It was with a gift card. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. You were like, oh. It was with this something is... else. No, it was like a bar of soap. For... It was. But we had agreed not to give, right? Yeah. Or... No, you decided not to give. <laughs> <laughs> It's so stressful. Oh my gosh. That you know what? Thank you. That was the worst. I was thinking this one year my mom gave me like cheese graters and it was so like <laughs> do you remember? So you yes, know like those handheld ones that like you are to grate Parmesan? She gave me like three of like different like different shaving like... sizes or something. <laughs> and I was like, thanks. It was so random weird and bad. I was like, I, I could have used like towels if it was gonna be household. I don't know, it was funny. Last year your mom gave you the pineapple with the oh. pineapple skewer thing. Totally. I thought it was How funny it... though. <laughs> yeah, she gave me a pineapple and then one of those pineapple things to like cut pineapple. Yeah. yeah that but then didn't she just give you like a little thing that said like pineapple's really great for you and Yeah, no, I it mean was it was cute. cool. It I was thought cool. it was cute and funny. I thought so too. But yeah, anyway. but the graders were was probably like the most like yeah. shocking thing. Definitely. Yeah. What about you? I got a Patagonia jacket one time. First of all, do you know me, right? <laughs> do you think I'd ever wear a Patagonia jacket? It was from my mom. I'm sorry, mom. Um, I know we're but, all throwing our but moms literally under the I, bus. No, today. but when I opened it, I was like, "Are you kidding me right now?" Like I was kind of. How old were you? It was like five years ago. It oh, was the ra- most random yeah. thing. Like, do you think that like I'm a forty year old lesbian woman that hikes? <laughs> You know, like, not to generalize, but, like... She was probably wanting to get you, like, a really nice gift. And she just didn't... See, that's an example of her wanting to get you something that she thinks you should have. Right. And as a mom, I get that. We are going to take a quick break and thank our sponsor, Bella Vista Designs. Bella Vista Designs is Southern California's premier audio and visual company, specializing in decorative lighting, draping, and sound for your upcoming wedding or event. Welcome back to Fun Sparkle Drama. This is our holiday episode. I'm here with Nico Cervantes, our host. And we're talking about Christmas and gift giving and the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly. The comical. Um, (laughs) But I'd like to talk now just for a quick moment about all these decorations that you really zhuzhed up the set with. Well. (laughs) So, okay, because I know for a fact with your design business, you do decorate some people's homes. I do. I yeah. decorate people's homes for the holidays. Um, if you need your house decorated, you did uh, mine once in oh. like ten years. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, it's but. a lot. Holiday decorating is the worst because it's just the worst. People are very overly emotional during the holidays, so everything has to be perfect, and it totally sounds like me weddings. Out. It's just like weddings, but worse. Yeah. I think it's worse. Okay. I really do. <laughs> okay. Um, but I have a funny story about all the little Christmas zhuzh. I know because um, I just got here and I was like, wow, it's really. Well, it's really fancy and Christmassy. I was going to go to Michael's, but I drove into the lot, and it was so crowded. I oh, left, yeah. and I went to Kmart. And I'm not a person that goes to Kmart because it really does stress me out. Yeah. Well, and there's no Target in Santa Barbara. Thank you very much. Like, I know. So it's kind of our only option, you know, unless you want to drive 30 minutes. Which it's we our do own, all the time. We do often. But sometimes you just need to drive 10 minutes and get... Well, and once you start going to Target, like... It really does change the dynamic of the whole situation. Yeah, I mean, I tr- I try to fall in love with Kmart sometimes too when I'm in there, and yeah. like, so I would think like holiday times. It's like, okay, oh, they've there's... got it hooked up for holidays. Let me tell oh, yeah, you, and Halloween, but that's an, oh, that's next year. Totally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they do the holidays really well, and it was really easy to go in. And these are really cute little decorations. Yeah. Um, but oh, what I was shocked to find out, oh yeah, there's little balls behind me too. Little color yeah. balls. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I was shocked to find out was Martha Stewart's gone. Yeah, and it and it's took, all about Jacqueline Smith. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> she was a Charlie's Angel. No, I was telling you this because it took me a while because I remember going out there and she wasn't there because she had all the linens and you know yeah, she'd have like yeah. It was like all her, about the Martha Stewart. Collection. I think she's at Macy's. Really? Yeah. She, bitch moved over to Macy's. And there was also some. <laughs> <laughs> there's also some other bitch up in there named Sandra Lee. What? Who's okay. the Sandra Lee character? I asked you earlier if she was Asian because that just sounded. <laughs> <laughs> at first, I thought it was that comedian. What's that comedian? Sandra O. Oh, no, that's an actress. I don't know. That sounded, but I was like, it sounded. It's Lee. usually like a famous person if their yeah. name's attached to the yes. decoration. Yes. Okay. So who's line. Sandra Lee? She, I think she's like a chef, but I'm not sure. She's some. I Did they ever her picture before. on yeah, any of no, the stuff? No, they didn't ever picture. But she was blonde and she looks fierce. But like she says, it was, like she was a chef. 
it's hard to tell. You know me, I'm really bad at ages. Yeah. But I think she's probably in her 30, late 30s. 40s. Okay, well, I feel obviously. Like everyone looks in their late 30s okay, to 40s. Okay, so she's in her, in her late 30s. But obviously, if Kmart has her, if she has a line at Kmart, people know who she is. Yeah, I so, guess. But we still don't know who she is. No, I just right. was traumatized but that Martha Stewart wasn't there. But these are her decorations. Yeah, this is all, these are all, well, there's some Sandra Lee and there's some Jacqueline Smith. Okay. But they, they. Who was the beau? Uh, Sandra Lee. Okay. Yeah. So, Garland? Uh, Jacqueline Smith. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember because I was trying to buy the, like, cheaper Kmart version of the Garland, but oh, yeah. they didn't have it. You only had to buy. Right. Yeah. Jacqueline Smith. With Jacqueline Smith. So she's, she's got it going on anyway, but. <laughs> so what do <laughs> that's you. a little. Oh, so go ahead. That's our little um, holiday decoration situation. <laughs> so what do you find that people want in their homes for decorating? You know, I do a lot of botanicals anyway. So I mm-hmm. think it's a lot of like fresh botanicals. Uh-huh. Um, people want something that's going to last. Right. You know, if they don't, if they're not fam- if they're not a person that hates fake things. Because people want things that are fresh in their homes, but then they turn up their heat when it gets yeah. like... <laughs> Five degrees, you know, like 80, what is it? At, gets at night, 75 it gets down here. to like 65. Yeah, we're in Santa Barbara. Dead. It doesn't get cold here, but they crank up their heat, and yeah. then they put on their fire, and then they and expect all their out. fresh stuff to be like right. fresh still. Right. It's like, no, you're not in a retirement home. So do you, <laughs> let me ask you, do you decorate people's trees too? Yeah, I do. Okay, so for me, that is so weird. That's not how I was raised. Like decorating the tree was a big night. Like, you know, the family, everybody was there. Um, we'd take out every decoration from the year before, yeah. and I do that now with my kids. I mean, I have ornaments from when I was a kid that my mom has given a few of us, but my mom still has all the ones from when we were kids. And then, I mean, the first one of like my daughter's first grade macaroni, you know, with her picture and that. So I love decorating. You've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Like your tree is like very, it's all nostalgic of like handmade gifts. But then there's some like nice, fancy Gucci ornaments and everything. But anyway, but um, one thing that I was remembering when I was talking about decorating the trees was one year when Ari, my daughter, who is grown now, um, was in junior high or first year of high school. Um, we had um, an ornament decorating Christmas party. So all her girlfriends came over and we made all this food and and punch and candy. And we got plain ornaments, I think, from like Michael's and all this paint. So all the girls decorated an ornament and they could either leave it and keep it on the tree or take it home with them. And that was a really cool Well, let me tell you, the idea. houses that I'm decorating yeah. don't have any handmade ornaments on yeah. them. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> it's all Gucci Gucci, probably yeah. from Gucci. Yeah. Um, <laughs> They're all no, crystal. and it's a little bit difficult too because when you are in someone's home and you're decorating with their own ornaments, right? It's like, okay, is this worth three thousand dollars? It might yeah, be. Yeah, that's so interesting. You just don't. <laughs> it might know. be. And people, do they pretty much give you like creative freedom when? They I think they dec- just want it done. Oh, you know what I mean? They just like yeah. And their kids are there sometimes, and if I see the kids there, I'll ask them, "Do you want to come help me?" Mm-hmm. You know, and. Nine times out of ten, they do. Oh. Um, yeah, because yeah. you know if they put on three ornaments, they yeah. still feel like they're helping. Yeah. But I think people just are busy and they want it done. They want to walk in the next morning and have it just lit and ready to go. Yeah, yeah, I can see. I mean, I've had a few Christmases like that where I just wish it would just kind of appear. Well, it's the lights that take so long. You yeah. know, like literally, I dread it. Like I get like you know from the pine needles, I get literally like scabs underneath my fingernails. Oh, gross. <laughs> Because you have to, like, you know, wire yeah. each of the lights down each of the branches. So if I did have money, I definitely would have hire someone to put the lights <laughs> you on. You would hire you to put the lights on. I, I would hire, like, somebody else to put the lights on because it is the drama part. The decorating is fun. Okay. You know? Don't you think? Oh, I love it. Like, yeah. I love it. I love the cookie. Anyway, so that's that's a, that's a great – but that could be a great – kind of mini party to have for people because people want to like get together with friends and stuff during the holidays like hey do you want to come over and decorate the tree with us yeah you I know? would be like are you like literally putting me to work right <laughs> well, now you think I of it come as over work. And... okay so let's talk about back to the present thing because yeah. I was thinking on the break about presents um, that we could give f- friends family loved ones that aren't a tangible one that isn't a donation either that's something that they could use so like an experience an experience perfect yeah. so I remember my mom gave tickets for her and to go take my daughter when she was little to go see the Lion King in LA oh. and that was a really cool thing and I think she actually gave her the tickets in the morning and you know she was like oh this is great um, 
or you know massages are always great if you know they're gonna use them because some people you can give them a gift certificate and you they don't use it I know that's so frustrating I know I remember like literally I was cleaning the house when I was a kid and I was going through my stepdad's stuff like you know cleaning his you know like we were doing chores as a kid we were uh -huh. dusting and I went through and I literally found like 10 gift certificates that we had given him over the years oh my God. <laughs> like for me and my sisters you know and I was like this is so annoying. Yeah. You know, so it, some you, people, so you, that's another part back to the whole thoughtful thing. You totally. have to get something that you know they're going to use. So, exactly. um, what other experiences do you think would be a good like present? Well, I love the whole experience thing anyway, because it really does garnish a friendship. Mm -hmm. And you know, you and I are both self-employed. You're a mom. I have my business, which is like a baby sometimes, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm a big old baby. Um, but we don't, like, you know, we don't see each other sometimes for a couple months, especially during wedding season, right, you know? Right. So doing those experiences really forces you to, you know, stay in contact with that friend, mm -hmm. you know, add to your relationship. Mm -hmm. And so I do love that idea. Yeah. Like the concept of it. Yeah. I mean, in Santa Barbara, everybody loves their wine tasting. I know. You know, so. Which I'm I, not super into. I love wine. Yeah. I know. You love wine, too. <laughs> and I'll drink, like, drink it. I'll drink it. It's, it's not fun, like. It's <laughs> fun. But that's kind of fun like when my dad was here we went to Los Olivos and so me and my sisters and my dad we all went like wine tasting in Los Olivos and we had a good time so I kind of that kind of shifted my whole wine tasting thing because prior to that I think I had gone to Sonoma or Napa and everybody's so serious up there about their wine tasting and you, have yeah. to, you know does it. so wine tasting can be really fun and they have all these tours like where you, people drive because you know if you go to Solvang or wherever you can't wine taste and then get in the car and go to the next winery. So people do. <laughs> yeah, not cool. Don't do not that. Not cool. People. Yeah. <laughs> so so that's another gift that you could do for a group yeah. of friends. Um, I like restaurants, um, and you know what? Even Starbucks. I mean, and not to like push or even like a local like coffee place like the Daily Grind. Even gift cards like you know when you know that one coffee place that your friend goes to. Yeah, Starbucks gifts or gift cards are like honestly the way to go for everything and they are overdone, but they're always used. Yeah, I you think. can use them in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. everywhere you go. People <laughs> you, can <use> them. <laughs> totally. you can use them in Europe, I think. I don't know if you could use them in Europe. I don't know if there's is there Starbucks in Europe? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. See the Starbucks gift card, I always use mine. So if you all want to give me a Starbucks gift card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but I do. I will always use it. Uh -huh. You know, it's one of those things that you know is a no fail and even if it's like five dollars, I think too for someone, you know. It's the it's the gesture. Yeah. Like that's another one of those gifts that we talked about in the beginning of the show about someone who is a little more peripheral in your life, like your, um, you know, the bank teller that you always seem to go to. That yeah. would be a really nice. Hey, Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or yeah. I think we say Happy Holidays now. Happy because, Holidays. Yeah, because it's kind of broad. Totally. Yeah. But I would totally celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah. Don't you? Like I oh, like yeah. all, like the holidays are the holidays for me. Yeah. And I think that it's really just about like focusing in, you know, like getting in the spirit of the holidays, like wearing comfy sweaters and you know putting on the fire. Baileys. Um, Baileys, like drinking, <laughs> you know, like Hot drinking, cocoa. eating. Yeah. Oh, eating. Okay. So. So what's going on with the eating situation? Because I'm trying to focus a little bit on my figure. Lock it down. Lock it <laughs> I'm down. I'm just trying to like, you know, like I'm comfortable with myself, but you know, Chantal so was holidays, last week. Yeah. Chantal was here last week and you guys had a wonderful conversation about, you know, food and keeping it balanced and um, being conscious. The holidays, there is so many different kinds of delicious, yummy stuff floating around like 24 seven. Like, I mean, you even going back, I don't know why I keep talking about the bank, but going back to the bank, they even have, I don't know what that's about. People. Cause you and I still walk into the bank. Some I do. Still, you know like, what? You that's know, right. I think that's We're why. like the last two people I think <laughs> like that are under 60 <laughs> totally. that still walk into the bank. <laughs> totally. You know, but I so, like that experience. Of yeah, walking I the do bank. too. But what they change their yeah. lollipops to like candy or something yeah, or, er, and then every party, there's tons of parties. There's, I mean, you go into Trader Joe's and, oh my gosh, it's like they have those one shortbread cookies that are dipped in dark chocolate with sprinkles oh, yeah. that only come out at Christmas. I don't know what else is in those, but they... Or the JoJo's. <laughs> yeah. It's like basically the JoJo's is like the Trader Joe's yeah. Oreo. It's like dipped in chocolate and then dipped in candy cane. Oh. It's amazing. It's like I a meal. I haven't had those. I had one and I was like, okay, I think my pants are a little tight. I know. It was like so one. <laughs> that, I mean, so there's just tons of food. I think, you know kind of agree with with um, our guest last week was 
I think it's great. Enjoy. Take a bite of something. Take it, you know, it doesn't mean we have to eat the whole platter or, you know, or if you know you're going to go to an appetizer or a cocktail party. Oh, those are so good too. I love cocktail parties. They have all those little things and yeah, it's hard. And I'm Italian. Like I just, I just walk in and I see food and that's about it. And, and we I'm both like, oh, are there's people here. Kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> right. You go straight to it. I always tend to hang out talking like at the food table, oh, definitely. which I read somewhere is the worst thing to do. Because you just oh, really? stay there and eat yeah. the whole time. So that's maybe like how a do you, How many calories do you think that someone consumes at a cocktail party? I don't know. I don't <laughs> count calories just as a rule. I mean, probably so, like yeah. at least 2,500, right? I don't know. I mean, if you're counting calories, you know, then yeah. it's probably a lot. But I think it's just eat what you – eat your favorite things. You know, like my family in Spain, they send over like those um, – Christmas candy. You've been around when they oh, sent those yeah, yeah. all the little like can like all the candies from Spain. And you want to try Christmas. them because they're from Spain. Exactly, they're delicious. So yeah. um, I think the the key is to, for me is to enjoy, uh, know that it's a short period of time, and um, and taste everything you want to. And then yeah. you know on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, you know my my ex husband's family's Mexican and they make tamales and oh my God they're so good like yeah. I want to eat them all day so and well yeah I I'm have, Mexican so yeah, you should see exactly. the food that comes rolling through that <laughs> totally, door totally like, totally like really yeah so, you can't get out of it <laughs> yeah I mean so holiday food is just you know I think it does stress some people out though too I think that's another part of holiday stress because yeah. a lot of us we are really. Uh, regimented in, in what we eat all the time and holidays can really trigger like that anxious you know anxiety yeah. around food so um, that can be another you know cause Definitely. of stress well I think like we're gonna wrap up the show because um, mm-hmm. we're running out of time we always run out of time we can just I talk know. forever I know. Um, but if you are feeling extra extra generous this holiday season um, I would invite you to make a donation in fun sparkle drama's name to TVSB uh, the link is below, and um, contribute to keep our show running. It would be great. Um, so thank you, Nina, my co-host. Thank you. For t- coming and gabbing to me about all the holiday drama. Thank you. I love it. Fun, all the holiday fun sparkle drama. And uh, we will see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, I'm Nico Cervantes. This is Nina LaFuente. Later. <laughs>